Instead, Montiel continued to walk forward despite receiving incredible punishment, earning Charlo's respect in the process for his courage and character. It took a true warrior to enter the ring with me. He fought each and every round as hard as he could and I could see by his eyes that he is a true warrior from the start and that he wanted to fight. No matter what she hit him with, he wanted more. I love that spirit. Charlo landed more than twice as many punches as Montiel, 258 to 127, including 201 power shots, the highest of his career. Montiel miraculously survived a grueling sixth round. In the eighth, Charlo suffered the first cut of his career when Montiel opened a wound to Charlo's right eye. Still, Montiel was far outmatched and Charlo used a good variety of punches. Scores were 120 to 108, 119 to 109, 118 to 109. I want to unify the crowns. I want Golovkin in the ring. I want to take him to Houston. I want Canelo to come to Houston if he drops to middleweight. This is my weight division. I will stay here and reign here. This is my fourth title defense and I have many more to come. I'm young. I am hungry. I needed an opponent of this strength to show what I'm made of," said Montiel, 27. I know that with this experience, later on I will become a world champion. I love fighting. I know I have the passion and what it takes to become a world champion. In the bottom, Isaac Cruz, the 1st of January 22, 15 co, scored a wide unanimous decision over Francisco Vargas, the 2nd of March 27, 19 co. The score was 100 to 89, 99 to 90, and 97 to 92. Cruz, who soared through the lightweight rankings in 2020 and defeated Diego Magdaleno with an electrifying first round co in September, came out early in pursuit of a similar result. Cruz continued to land power shots, including his trademark right hand, but Vargas was able to avoid any devastating blows. Cruz Vargas the 36-year-old Vargas was the most active fighter, throwing 586 punches compared to Cruz's 548. However, Cruz outscored Vargas 188 to 148 and landed 43% of his power shots en route to victory. In the final minute of the fight, Cruz sent Vargas to the canvas for the second time in his career with a barrage of punches, capped off an impressive performance. In another match of the gala, the former world champion Angelo Leo, 21-1, 9 co, earned a close majority decision on Aaron Alameda, 25-2, 13 co. The judges scored the fight 98-92, 96-94 and 95-95.